Hi, this is Kyle Lee, Senior Construction Solution Specialist at ATG USA, and we're here for another video in my technical talk series providing a brief overview of the tool sets that are available to you in the Autodesk Build module. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about our photos tools that we have available. So if you haven't done so already, please log into the ACC uh, website and select the appropriate build project that we're going to be working in. And after we've selected the appropriate build project, we're going to go to the photos area. Um, this is the area where all of the photos that we've uh, captured on our project would be stored. And we also have the ability to reference photos directly into several other areas within the build module. Areas that uh, photos can be referenced in from would be within the sheets section, within issues, within forms or our checklist and punch list, within RFIs and within assets. And so when we come into our photos area, we're going to see our gallery. We'll be able to see all of the different photos that have been captured for our project. And we can scroll through and see the entirety of these photos that are here. Another thing to keep in mind, as I mentioned just a few moments ago, photos can be referenced in from many different areas within the build environment. And we can tell if a photo has been referenced in from another area which is indicated by the icon in the bottom right hand side of the photo itself. And if we hover over that icon, it'll tell us what this uh, photo has been referenced into. In this case, this photo has been referenced by a form. In this case here, we have a photo that's been referenced in by an issue. And down here, we can see a photo that's been referenced by a sheet. We can select the photo itself. We can see details. We can see the title of the photo, which we can always go in here and, and update to modify uh, to provide a better description of what the photo actually is rather than the file name that's stored uh, within the photo device there, whether that was on your um, iPad, possibly from a um, from your mobile phone there as well. We also have the ability to add tags to the photo if we need to as well. Maybe we want to say that this is regarding, um, let's see here, maybe fixes. Um, so we can tag in here. We also have the ability to see within our map area uh, where this photo is referenced. Um, if the uh, location detection is enabled on the device that the photo was taken with, it will reference in the latitude and longitude and provide uh, a quick snapshot of where that photo was taken within a Google Maps snapshot here. Down here, we can also see who this photo was added by the date that the photo was taken on, and also the date in which this was added to our photo gallery here. Um, if this photo had been referenced, it has been referenced into one of the other areas, we will be able to see that right here. And for some reason, this one's not displaying the reference point. So let's try another one here and see if we can get that to pull up for us. So again, we see all the same information. When we select our reference here, we can see that this one is referenced into um, issue number 114 on a punch list item. We also have the ability to add this photo to another reference point if necessary within our project if that uh, has not already been referenced there. Okay. We also have the ability to share photos um, via a link that we can then email out to um, our project partners or possibly even those that are not in, uh, inside of our build project itself. Um, we have the ability to filter our photos, so we can filter based on title, on the date taken or date added. Um, we also have the ability to um, select specific photo types, whether it's a standard photo, a video, or a 360 degree photo that we're looking to sort by. We can also uh, filter based upon the reference point that the photo has been added into. So if we're just looking for photos that have been added to forms, we can select that. And now we're only seeing our photos that have been added into a form. We can do the same with issues or even with markups, RFIs, and submittals. So very quick, uh, easy way to narrow down our photos to see what reference points they have been added into within our build project. Also, another key feature within the photos area, and I mentioned this a moment ago when we selected an individual photo, if location has been turned on with the device that we have captured the photo in, we'll see a, um, a snapshot in a Google 
map's image of where that photo was taken from. But then we also have our map tab up here at the top of our photos gallery or up at the top of our photos area. And this map tab is going to show us where these photos have been taken from in reference to a map image here. So we can quickly and easily scroll in and see the photos, see where they were taken, and we can even click on and select the individual photos to see where that coincides to on the map. This feature has uh, received a lot of uh, a lot of positive feedback, especially from the standpoint of its potential use case on civil projects that may stretch over several miles. So um, again, on top of the ability to store those photos here within the photo gallery, we can also geo-reference those to the map within the photos area as well. So that's a brief overview of our photos area within the build module. Um, certainly appreciate you joining me for our video today and look forward to seeing you for more in the future. Thanks for your time.